how to create a font in Illustrator and Font Lab. Now this is a very basic font. I'm just going to use a zigzag design. Just go to the pen tool. But you could of course use any other design as well. Any ones you've maybe created already. And just generate that design. Once you've created one design, you can create 26, 50 designs, all to be copied into Font Lab. Just go to Edit and Copy. And then go to Font Lab. And in Font Lab, just go to the File and New. Now you can see A, B, C, D, E, F. Now you don't have to fill all of those in. You can fill some in, all of them if you wish. I'm just going to go for a couple, so just A. Now, you can also use View and Zoom Out, so you can actually see now. You want to place the design just above that baseline, just there. So I'm just dragging it just above the baseline there. You can just see the baseline the marker there. Right, so just copy that, put that there, and then close that. You can see now in that little glyph panel there, you can see the the A, and you can again fill C, etc. if you want. So once you've actually done that, filled all the characters in that you wanted to fill, you can then go to Font Info, File and Font Info, set up a family name, etc. copyright information. There's a whole range of different panels. You might want to look into the Font Lab application. There's a specification guide information that says what things you need to put. There's very little. You can leave most of it blank. Well, I have anyway. Maybe some people might want to put all the various other stuff in. But it's just as easy to leave it fairly empty. Copyright information, etc. Now, once you've done that, just click OK. You can see there's quite a lot of sections there. And I'm just going to finish off a little bit more. Click OK. Once you've done that, you just go to File and Generate Font. And you want to give it a name again. So just give it a name, XYZ and then select TTF and then save. And that's it, you've got your file which you can then install.